you're not trying to sell to everybody. You're trying to sell to a specific niche of people. You're trying to engage. When the pandemic first started in March, what we saw happening a lot was businesses stopped operating. And and for, for good reason, because we didn't know where this was going. We didn't know if to turn left, if to turn right. A lot of entrepreneurs had to shift their strategies of how they stayed engaged with their audience and how they sold to their audience. And then on the other hand, consumers became more they shifted their priorities of how they spent who they spent with and how often they spent so it was really about marrying those two shifts to make sure that you know business continued to run and people will continue being sued Your strategy has to involve your mindset and your strategy then involves the actions that you take to move you from where you are to where you want to be. Once we deal with the mindset part of it, then we talk about the actions, which are the actual steps that you take to get you from where you are to where you want to be. And it's not a one size fits all. Even if two businesses, two people are in the same business, it is not a one size fits all because your goals might be different, right? Um, and because your goals might be different, your strategies may be different. Your strategies may be different because your ideal clients may be different because the platforms that you're using might be different because your prices might be different, right? So it's not a one size fits all, but the strategies are those action steps that you take. And the action steps that you take every single day to get you closer to your goals. And that's the thing, right? A strategy is not a one-off thing that you do once a month or once a week and then you hope for the best. It's a series of actions that you take together, which include your marketing, your sales, your advertising, your public relations, all of those things that you take together, they have to work together to move you, you know, along your sales funnel, along to where you actually want to be. So when we talk about strategies, about the actual action steps, right? And not just the idea of, uh, I want to have this type of business, but what are you doing every single day to get exactly what you want? So for those businesses that have um, websites, they should be having an opt-in, an email opt-in or a lead magnet that allows their audience to share their email address in exchange for some type of valuable information. You want to stay connected with your audience by, and this has been like a really huge thing in the last eight months, right? By doing videos. Videos is still like the number one way to engage with your audience. Doing videos on your social media pages, on your YouTube channels, Keep your social media active, guys, as well as, like we just spoke about, um, Pauline, collaborations. That's a great way to stay engaged. You need to do what I call social listening. In our, in our terms, you need to macro. <laughs> you need to do some social listening. You need to spend time doing that now more than ever. And in doing that, you will figure out, you know, what really would work for your ideal clients, right? You would figure out exactly what solutions you should be offering to your ideal clients. Because the things that you may have been doing post-COVID, the strategies that you may have been using post-COVID may not be applicable now because people's lives have shifted. We have a few businesses in Trinidad who did that really, really well. They actively listened to their audience. They actively listened to um, what was going on in the world. They actively listened to, you know, all the information that was coming to them and they pivoted their strategy so that they stayed engaged with their audience. Businesses that were able to do that 
you will realize that nine months later, they are the ones who are really, really thriving, right? They didn't stop operations. They didn't, they didn't lower the prices per se. They didn't discount their stuff per se. They shifted their messaging so that they continue to stay engaged, right? And offered alternative solutions to their audience.